Hi everyone, welcome back to this week's Faith That Inspires. Let me begin by sharing a poem by Helen Steiner Rice on Easter Reflections. Easter Reflections With our eyes we see the beauty of Easter as the earth awakens once more. With our ears we hear the birds sing sweetly to tell us spring again is here. With our hands, we pick the golden daffodils and the fragrant hyacinths. But only with our hearts can we feel the miracle of God's love, which redeems all men. And only with our soul can we make our pilgrimage to God and inherit His Easter gift of eternal life. The poet explains that Easter is the time when the earth wakes up from a deep slumber and heralds the beginning of new life. Birds chirps around and vibrant blooms like daffodils, hyacinths and tulips breathe new life and fragrance into nature. However, the bliss of Easter season is not just limited to its natural beauties. In fact, this is a time to feel the real blessings of God and thank Him for His eternal gift that He has conferred on us at Easter. I think that if we do let the physical and tangibles show us, we will be carried away with the now and the where. And soon, we will lose the message of Good Friday and Resurrection Sunday. It will just be another Friday to the week and a Sunday where the next day we go back to work. It is truly only with our hearts where we connect with God to understand the real deal of Easter. It is not simply God sent His only Son to die for us on the cross, but the fact of God's love displayed for us. The sin that separates us from God and how God wants us back into His presence. There's no, no need for a long list of instructions on how to offer sacrifices or to be cleansed before we can be in God's temple. And in living the resurrected life, First, we need to know for every darkness, it will pass. The light will always break through. Just like on Friday when Christ is crucified, His disciples were in shock and lost and in darkness. A pause before the final victory because Sunday, the light breaks through. So amidst our doubts, questions, the waiting and uncertainty in living the resurrected life, we also rest in the in-between and rest in the hope of our Lord. Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for us that we are made right before God. Help us to see and understand the gravity of our sin that we may begin to grasp and embrace the death of your love. Help us to cling on to you and to keep walking in faith one step at a time. Let's say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my So glad you came to save us. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the hour to the cross. My death to be from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift your name. I'm so glad 
Jesus, you are.